This video is sponsored by Squarespace. Squarespace is the all-in-one website platform that makes it easy to create, engage with your audience, and sell anything from products to content to time. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, welcome, and if you're not, welcome back. When I make my 50 crochet idea videos, a lot of you guys comment that you just want like a clothing only video, an accessory only video, a decor only video. Because if you're new here, a lot of my crochet idea videos have like five different categories, but I've gotten an overwhelming amount of people who just want a accessories only video. So because of that, today's video is going to be 50 accessory crochet ideas. So. All of these are accessories. I did put them in categories even with them still being accessories. So the categories that we have for this video are hats, hair accessories, chokers, arm slash leg warmers, earrings, and bag charms because there's a bunch of different kinds of accessories. So I did want to still have categories. As always, if any of these are yours and you don't want them promoted in this video, DM me over on Instagram and I will take them out of the video immediately. This is another one of my videos that is 100% free, so you will not be paying a dime for any of these patterns or tutorials. And as always, they will be linked in the description box in the order that I say everything. So if you're seeing it on the screen, you can make it. It's linked down in the description box. I try to stick to a beginner friendly skill set, but, but there are going to be a few that are advanced, but I'll let you know which ones those are. Let's jump right into our first category, which is hats. For hats, we have this bucket hat that has a kind of like mesh middle part for airflow on a super, super hot day, or even this granny square bucket hat as well. You can make a checkered bucket hat or a ruffle bucket hat, which I'm seeing these kind of like become really popular. So we're jumping on this trend of the ruffle hats. And then you could go back to the start of crochet blowing up and make a strawberry bucket hat. Let's jump into our next category, which is hair accessories. So I, I made hair accessories its own category because I feel like there's a big difference between like bandanas and hats and things like that, you know, headbands and hats. So that's what this category is going to be. It's going to be everything that goes on your head that isn't a hat. So you can make the this like puffy flower headband or even this like hairnet kind of bonnet style. I really liked this one and they're all free, which is really cool. This one is for scrunchies if you're a scrunchie fan. This one is just a normal granny stitch bandana. And this one is a shawl kind of bandana style. I really like it. It's kind of giving like I don't know, it's like grandma core. I like it. You can make a you can make a star headband or even this simple kind of flower stitched headband you can make a really simple headband that has like no stitching involved besides like a basic stitch like this one uh you can make this crochet bandana that can be worn three different ways so that one's really cool or even this kind of floral lace bandana or a diamond lace bandana those are really cute too or if you're more on the easy beginner side of things maybe try out this simple bandana first before you try the harder ones or you can make this granny pine bandana now this one is like a simple stitch but it looks complicated so it kind of gives that illusion of an in intermediate pattern but it's it's okay for beginners before we jump into our next category, I just wanted to take a moment to thank this video sponsor, Squarespace. I've been working on my website with Squarespace for a while now, and there's just a couple things that I really want you guys to know about. First of all being that you can have your online store with Squarespace, so if you sell crochet items, if you sell crochet patterns, if you want to teach someone how to crochet by selling your services, like teaching or videos or something like that, you can use Squarespace for all of those things. And their point of sale feature makes it really easy to do things like live markets, live craft shows, and still keep up with your inventory on your store. All you have to do is connect your Square Reader to the Squarespace app and everything connects. So if you're selling a crochet plush 
in person, it'll take it off the inventory on your online shop as well. So you don't have to worry about double selling things at the same time. That's always my big worry when I do live markets. So it's nice to know that that's a feature of Squarespace. And when it comes time to actually make your website, they have a bunch of professional website template options for you that you can scroll through and pick. And even if you pick one and you don't really like everything about it, you can change every aspect. You can change the color to match your brand. You can change where everything's laid out. It's just kind of a nice stepping off point if you have no experience building a website like me. With all that being said, check out squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to www.squarespace.com slash amazing page to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Let's jump into our next category, which is chokers. And yes, I made this an entire category for itself because I have a lot. So for chokers, we have this scalloped edged one and we have this like princess Victorian vampire style one. Or if you're one of the people who love the bow trend going on right now, there's this bow choker. And then we have a very simple thin one if you don't really want to go too crazy with your choker or completely opposite of that one. You can make a really, really thick choker like this one. Or you could make a kind of thin black. This one kind of reminds me of like 2014 Tumblr. Super cute. You can make this one, which has pointed edges, which is, to, again, giving like that vampire Victorian style choker. This one is a thin one that kind of like zigzags a bit. It's quick. It's easy. Okay, super cute. You can make this one, which is a little more detailed, but it makes little tiny flowers as a choker. It's super cute. I'm like kind of obsessed with crochet chokers right now, if you can't tell. But if none of those are interesting to you, I have this video tutorial for like an easy kind of lace stitching. So you can add however many rows you want. You can kind of make it go all the way down to end like here. It's up to you. But I wanted to give you guys one that kind of had a little more creative freedom to it. Our next category is arms arm slash leg warmers okay and yes they have their own category because there's a bunch of different kinds you can make so first one i have for this category is a leg warmer with it's really thick it kind of gives like the illusion that it's a knit but it is crochet and it has a little spot for bows so that's super cute if you're a beginner or you just kind of want a simpler leg warmer this video tutorial is really good for that it's simple they're cute they're fast and it's a really detailed tutorial um you can make these you can make these fishnet fingerless gloves if that's more your style or if you need more coverage you can make these star fingerless gloves which are more for like keeping your hands warm and less for just like accessory you know like the other ones were now these crochet gloves go all the way up to your elbow and stop right at your knuckles so that's also an option if you liked that leg warmer video i just showed you but you want it to be more flared this video tutorial is for flared leg warmers so if you're looking for a flare look um this one is arm and leg kind of matching little short fingerless gloves and leg warmers this one is an arm warmer only crochet video tutorial and that's all i have for our arm and leg warmer so let's jump into our next category which is earrings earrings are such a fun thing to crochet because in reality, you just have to crochet something tiny enough to put a little earring hook on it. So any like um, a Mikurumi really tiny could be an earring. So keep that in mind. But you can make these granny square earrings or these little teddy bear earrings or some little flower earrings. Those are super cute. Or even this like flower cactus combo. I thought that was cute. Or this rosebud earring is also an option. You can make these flower earrings with a kind of um, pearl bead sewn into the middle you can make these pointed flower earrings you can make butterfly earrings which are a little more complicated you can make monstera plant leaf uh earrings for our plant mom and dads out there you can make these like feather style earrings or even these summer sun earrings that look kind of like they look like they're they're crocheted around a ring i'm not sure if they are but they look like they are so those are kind of cool i can totally see that with like a fun flowy dress oh adorable even in the fall like even in the fall and that brings us into our last category which is bag charms now although i only have two listed each one has multiple um, options for you first one the first option i have for you for this one is this video tutorial that has 
five five different options for you a little like airpod case there's a little bear with some uh, bear ear you know hat on there's cherries there's that little like cherry cookie bunch of different options in this one and then this one is a cherry or strawberry bag charm so there's two options in that video as well and that is all I have for you for our accessory only crochet idea video. Everything I showed you, again, don't forget, is linked in the description box below in the order that I showed it to you, linked to a free video or written tutorial. If any of these patterns are yours and you don't want them promoted in my video, DM me over on Instagram and I will take it out of the video. And while we're talking about my Instagram, follow me over there if you want to stay up to date to new videos coming out or shop updates coming out. I have a really big fall shop update coming on September 1st and it's going to be crazy and there's going to be limited stock. So if you want, if you want the updates to that and you don't want to miss anything, definitely follow me over on Instagram because I will be posting about it there. Other than that, comment down below if there's any other 50 crochet idea video you want to see from me and I will see you in the next video. Love you. Bye.